Sharding with consistent hashes. Let's talk about caches. I have a key value cache and I want it distributed across servers. So when a key request comes in, the first thing I need to decide is which server should I look for this key on. Well, one way to do this, we could run the key through a hash function, modded by the number of servers, and based on the result, send the request to that server for processing. But what happens when we add or remove a server? Well, the mod value in our hash function would have to change. This would shuffle all of our keys to different servers, invalidating our entire cache. The resulting load spike would cause a cascading failure in our system, launching all nuclear missiles and ending the world as we know it. We'd like to have a hashing scheme that allows us to add or remove a server without having to change the hash function. That's the point of consistent hashing. Let's say we have three servers, snap, crackle, and pop. Let's create an array with, say, a thousand spaces in it. Now, for each server, we hash the server name and then put the name in the array at the hashed position. Then, when a request for a key comes in, we hash that key. We look at the point in the table where the hashed key would go. It's probably empty, so we walk forward in the array until we find a spot that has a server ID in it. If we reach the end of the array without hitting any servers, we just loop back to element 0 and move forward from there. Once we know the ID of the server we're hitting, we can look up the rest of the details and pass them all back to the user. This works pretty well, but what if Snap hashes right next to Crackle? Obviously, Snap will get most of the keys, and Crackle will get very few of them. What happens if a server isn't available? Well, we can keep walking forward until we find a server that is available. And what happens if Snap disappears? All of a sudden, Crackle will get all of the keys that used to go to Snap. That's a lot of load, very suddenly. Oh, Snap. Okay, there's a way around this, too. For each server we want to put in the table, we hash it multiple times with multiple functions, just like in a Bloom filter. As we distribute our different servers around this table, we increase the randomness with which keys are moved to different servers, which means that should we remove Snap, about half of our new keys should go to Crackle, and the other half should go to Pop. With this scheme in place, adding a new server is very easy. We hash new values and add them to the array for this server. Some keys are still going to end up being redirected to this new server instead of the server where they were initially stored, but not nearly as many as if we had tried to recalculate the entire hash function. If one server has more capacity than the others, we can even hash it extra times so that it will show up more often in the consistent hash. If you want to bring a server up gradually, you can introduce it to the hash one entry at a time. And based on this data structure, it's easy to predict where data will go if your server goes down. This means if we have spare cycles, we can predictively move data from one server to its failover server, just in case. That's consistent hashing. Thanks for watching.